everyone welcome to my channel today I'm going to do a three level flower for you on the spring gloss bottle now this isn't really a Christmas design but you could do it in your reds and your greens and such and turn it into a design for Christmas I am going to be using three magic flat brushes a 12 a 14 and a 6 not sure why I set them backwards and of course my fine liner by Westonia all my paints are folk art paints, enamels, and multi-surface using hunter green and thicket along with evergreen. More of a Christmassy type green. Wicker white, tea berry, and pale yellow. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the number 14 to begin. And I'm going to stick one side into the thicket, one side into the tea berry, and do my blending strokes. And just blend it till you feel like you got enough paint on your brush. Because when we're doing this, of course, we want to make sure that our design is okay. Alright, so to begin with, I'm going to start with just a partially opened flower. And this is basically a three, three kind of, um, I want to say humps or, jeez, uh, I can't even think how to describe it. But you're going to do, without even lifting up your brush, you're going to do three, three, um, I don't know why, I want to say humps, but that's not really right, bumps or goodness I'm sorry losing my train of thought here all right so then we're going to come over here start off one two three and we can lift up turn your bottle do one two three pull back and keep going keep turning the bottle as you go one two three Two, three. I kind of made these big, so we're going to squeeze our last one in here because I'm trying to do five petals. So you may not see all of them, but that's fine. Not a big deal. All right, going to go down here, do another one. Again, one, two, three. Lift up. One, two, three, lift up. Just very simple. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell before you leave. If you have any questions or comments, please place those down below the video. And understand that my channel is meant to be very simple designs anyone can do which are great for newbies. Okay, and then we're going to do one more down here. Oh, I can't think of what I'm trying to say on this. But it's basically got three round, round petal edges on the petal itself. That's just one petal with the three little humps. sure I'm on camera here and really you can create this with any any color of paint that you have you don't have to use what I'm using you know, please know that feel free to be creative and use your own imagination own colors and the brushes that you have I don't want you to have to go out and buy anything new right next thing I'm gonna do is go to the number six I'm going to load it. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I'm sorry. Before I do that, I'm going to put one more bloom in. It's just a partial. Just a partial. And we'll do it over here. One, two, three. I mean, you could do two. You could just do two of these and call it a day. But I want to swing out here. 
and just do one more. Up to you. Now we're putting that brush away. All right. I'm gonna take the number six, do the same thing, get it loaded with the paint, back and forth. You know, technically, you should have three quarters of the bristles full of paint. I just do it to where I feel good, and I go on. All right, so on this one, we're going to come here, do the same thing, but on this part of it, I'm going to have the colors going in the opposite, you know, with the darker on the outer part, and I have to be careful, because you see it's pulling up the paint here. That's what happens a lot of times when you're painting on glass. So you can just come in here and kind of fill it in a little bit. Plus I'm going to be going over it one more time. And it doesn't even matter. I just have to do lighter strokes with it to prevent that from happening. This is one thing that makes it a little bit more challenging when you're painting on glass because it doesn't behave the same way as paper or canvas. It can be a little bit more challenging for this reason. Even if you dry it, you still have the risk of it coming up. Whoops, going the wrong way. All right, so I'm gonna do this again, and I'm just doing lighter touches with it because of it pulling up. and I might not be able to do the continuous flow for each petal, but that's okay. And you could do it with the same color, you know, the lighter color on the, the ends, but I, just for this, wanted to turn it, because I thought it might just give it a different, a different look, and you can determine the layers of petals better when you switch the colors around. All right, and we're gonna keep going here, go up and go down. Very pretty, I think at least. Hope you like it. And you could actually do more layers. For the purpose of my video, I'm just sticking with the with the three. That takes long enough. I just I don't like to have my videos be too long. Okay, so I'm gonna continue on here. Now this might be a little challenging since it's pulling up over here but I'm gonna come over here and just lightly do my little holes in attempt to cover up what was separating here before and again I'm just doing light touches very light touches and probably making sure I have more paint on my brush just to make sure it covers. And we'll just keep turning as we go. And again, you don't even have to have as many in the center because it's a smaller, a smaller area. If you don't want to put five petals in there. Just get what you can, what you can fit. You could actually use three different size brushes if you wanted to. But a lot of times, just based on the amount of pressure you're putting, you can actually make different size petals with the same brush. I'm going to come down here to finish up this last one. There's 
definitely challenges to painting on glass. It's not always easy, but you do what you can to make the best of it, right? Okay, next thing we're gonna do, come in with our greens and fine liner, just sticking it into the colors, including the all the greens and including the yellow. Just have a mixture here. And I'm going to come up here and do my little attachment here to the stem. Switching back and forth with the different colors of green and the yellow. And you can just you know, do a minimal amount of this way, or you can do, you know, more if you want, more or less, up to you. All right, so I'm gonna come down here, do the same thing. And then I'm just going to keep pulling, it's pulling and attaching. I'm not even counting how many of these I put on here. It's just however I like it to look. That's the, the important part, at least for me. Yeah, I'm not really big into saying you can't do something or how you do it is wrong or right. It's if you like it and you're happy with it, more power to you. Pull my stem out here over that a little bit, put that in here, this little guy's going to flow in there as well, and I'll pull this down here, we will pretend this one hooks on. Before I go on, I'm going to take my liner brush, pick up some of the yellow, and just dot the center. And it's really not dotting, I'm just kind of lightly just pushing down on, the, on my liner brush and putting in the center. If you want to add extra colors to it, you can. I just picked up a little green, which, whatever, it's fine. It can have spaces in between, or you can just you know, dot in a solid center. All right, enough of that. Put that brush aside. I'm going to come in with, oops, sorry, my liner brush and start adding in, and on this same way, I'm adding in greens, yellows, and I'll just keep blending and adding as I go. One of the things I want to do on here is do this kind of a, a leaf. It's just very, I don't know, just kind of a, oh, I'm not going to say it's a made up leaf. It's just very whimsical. Kind of a one that wiggles a little bit. All right, I'm going to add in, okay, I'm doing a wiggle here down one side. I'm going to add more color to it and come down here. It's like a folded leaf. It's exactly what it is it's a folded leaf. And I'm going to come down here. You can do it with either color as the primary color on the exterior part. Like that. Come over here. I probably won't to do too many of these because I don't have as much room as I did on my paper when I put together my sample. I will do just a few. And I'm going to maybe have one come out this way. And I don't care if it goes over my flower a little bit, but I don't want it to 
cover my flower up too much. And I'm going to do another one up here. And again, it's just a folded, folded leaf. I can come through here and then add some of my basic one stroke leaves. Just do a few, not a lot. You don't even have to add these in if you don't want to. I can get a little crazy, as people know, with my leaves. I'm gonna grab my liner brush, go through my greens again, and come in here and put in my little stems. Now, if you want, you can add a stem to these folded leaves. It's kind of awkward because I would consider this being um, like the bottom of it here where it's folding, where that would be attaching to the flower or the uh, leaf itself so again that's up to you all right so there we go easy peasy another pretty design and it just takes you know a few minutes not very hard at all all right I hope you like this video if you do give me a big thumbs up if you're new to my channel please subscribe hit that notification bell and below before you leave if you would hit the share button underneath the video Share this on your social network with your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.